so let's get into it the wig i'll be trying on in today's video is from love me hair company the wig they sent me is their hair parting max glueless loose body wave wig um and along with my wig they sent me some goodies the parting space on this wig is seven by six and it is a hd lace the cap on this wig is an airy wig cap this particular style of cap allows for your scalp to breathe and also if you need to scratch your scalp you can also do so so here you see me just trying on the wig right out of the box trying to get a feel for it i will come up a little bit closer so you guys can see the hd lace and what i like about this wig so far is that the hair is really really soft and bouncy um i'm going in with my tweezers and plucking that lace just a little bit not too much i just want the hairline to look a little bit more natural and then i'm just gonna cut the front of that lace off just to ensure that the top of my wig is not big <laughs> y'all know we do not like no big wigs over here um i'm taking my hot comb and i'm just flattening out the top of my wig and around my lace with that this curl right here and this curl right here backwards just so it can give me that lift that i want but guys this wig is completely glueless look at the hairline i didn't do too much additional plucking only because i really wanted this look to be minimal and be really really easy to do y'all look at this i'm gonna get up close so you can see it it is not glued down at all it is giving natural hairline no baby hairs no nothing this tutorial with no baby hairs i know y'all used to be doing like the crazy baby hair looks but i really want this look to give like corporate baddie y'all know the corporate baddie black women who maybe they work in an office or something and they always have those really nice wigs but they don't do like the baby hair that's what i'm trying to give with this wig and i definitely think this is what this wig gives so i think my curling iron has heated up i'm just gonna go ahead and curl this piece right here going backwards like away from my face I do want it to have like a bit of a lift so I am going to pin it while I do the curls on the other side just wrapping that curl around my finger I'm gonna take my silver duck clip and clip it right in the front yep I actually wanted to have a little bit more volume guys I wasn't planning on putting any curls here but while we're at it, let's just add one more curl at the top of the head back here.
this one dropped a little bit so y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and add a curl right there too if you like the wig as is this is the perfect throw it on you know take it out of the box wear it as is wig but y'all know me i have to get it together so just adding a little curl here it was already pretty much curled so i'm not going to pin that one um and then here i don't really like how the curls are falling towards my face so i'm going to take my curling iron and i'm going to make this curl right here go backwards so first just laying the front of that y'all just see that i really just burnt myself shoot i hope that it does not leave a burn mark on my forehead lord please don't leave a burn mark on my forehead um i'm just gonna go ahead press that back a little bit then we're just gonna curl that piece backwards. And just like we did the other side, guys, we're just wrapping it around our finger and then we're just taking our hair clip and clipping that right in the front. So once that's done, I'm going to put any more curls in the hair. I'm just gonna comb through it. The ends are a, just a tad bit dry, so I'm taking my Smooth Sheen Shea Butter Oil Sheen and I'm spraying this on the hair. Guys, I really love this hairspray because it does not weigh the hair down. It gives the hair a nice shine without making the hair super, super weighed down with like product. So just spraying a little bit of that on the hair. And running my fingers through it. You guys can see the difference, right? It just makes the hair look super shiny, but it does not look like there's like too much product in the hair. So now let's go ahead and take the clips out of our hair. It's definitely giving corporate baddie. Spray a little bit more of that sheen on the front part. Y'all, this wig is everything, okay? It is everything. Dang. stated previously in the video this wig is a seven by six closure um the difference between a seven by six and a five by five or a four by four is that the four by four closures usually are like four inches by four inches so if i wanted to do a parting space on the side as deep as this one I wouldn't be able to do that with a four by four. Probably not with a five by five closure either, but this closure is a seven by six. It is seven inches across the front of the hairline and six inches to the back. What I do is just show you guys the versatility of this wig. I am going to part it here. As you can see, it goes far back. You can even part it here in the middle and the parting space still goes far back. 
So as you can see, guys, there is a lot of versatility with this wig and it is completely glueless like I showed you guys before. No lace, no glue, no nothing. And we love a low maintenance wig that you can just throw on and go. And this is definitely her. So what I'm going to do now, just to switch it up a little bit, I'm going to switch this wig from a side part to a middle part styling just to finish up the video. So what I'm going to do is just shift my wig over just a little bit. So both of the ends of the closure are on the temples of my head. And then I'm going to go ahead and part the hair right down the middle. Y'all excuse that mark right there. I actually really did burn myself. Like earlier when I was like, I hope I didn't burn myself. I hope I didn't burn myself. Y'all, that curling iron did me dirty. I cannot wait to take this makeup off and, you know, treat that burn. You know, parting it down the middle. trying to get it as flat as I possibly can without burning myself again. <laughs> And there you have it, guys. This is what the hair looks like with a middle part. This wig is super, super versatile. I would literally consider this wig like two to three wigs in one because you can definitely get your wares out of it. You can do a side part, you can do a middle part, a half updo, you can definitely do that as well. The hair is super, super bouncy, super soft, so we love that. I would definitely recommend this wig if you are a low maintenance girly. And I am definitely getting more into my low maintenance era, guys. Sometimes I just want to be able to put a wig on and go. I don't want to have the hassle of gluing it down, putting baby hairs, worrying about any of, you know, the extra maintenance that we deal with with the actual frontal, frontal wigs. So this wig definitely gives you the convenience of all of that in one so there we have it um let me know down below in the comments if you prefer the middle parting or you like the side part better i love 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 this look i love the middle part but i am just a side part girly like i love a good side part so guys again shout out to love me hair company for partnering with me for this video i absolutely love this look let me know down below if you like it if you do make sure to give me a thumbs up leave me some feedback down below in my comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Smooches.